So this is probably gonna be the last video I do on these vitamins. I grabbed my camera real quick because I am at work and I stopped and got my package out the um, mailbox before heading out and I got my vitamins got my vitamins so um, this is like a six month check-in but it's honestly probably the last video I'm gonna do and not because I don't like them it's just because I've kind of played around with tried out the different vitamins that I want to try out and after six months I have landed on what I want to take continuously until they stop working so if you don't know uh, oh I can use this promo code for 20% off <laughs> so if you don't know I have a couple of videos on these vitamins already I'll put them down in the description in case you want to get more information that you don't get from this video because I talk about pricing shipping all of that in my last video if you want to see those videos I will link them because this is gonna be like a quick check-in just because I got to get to work in a few minutes well I'm at work but I got to get into work in a few minutes so yeah so I have been playing around with a bunch of different vitamins if you watch my vlogs you know that I decided to try out the hair skin and nail vitamins as well as the once a day and so I was taking the once a day the hair skin and nails the probiotics and the d3 and then I stopped. I was like, wait a minute. I think I'm taking too many vitamins. Like, because if you read the labels, each of these have D3 in them. Um, so I was taking like the D3 vitamins and then the hair, skin and nails had D3. And then the one today had D3. And I was like, whoa, I am taking way too much D3. And so I stopped taking the D3. I stopped taking the D3. and was only taking the hair, skin and nails, the probiotics and the one today. So I got online and did a little bit of research and it says that it's recommended that you take 25 to 100 MCG per day for D3. So you shouldn't exceed 100. And with the D3 alone, there was 50 MCG. And so I wasn't taking more than 100. So I started back taking the D3. Um, but I kind of like decided to just do the once a day and the hair skin and nail and the probiotics and then when I finished that I started taking the d3 while I waited for the rest of it to come in they have a bunch of different vitamins they offer and I wanted to just kind of play around and try it but I have landed on just the probiotics and the hair skin and nails to replace the curls liquid vitamin that I was taking and then of course the d3 so those are the three I'm going to be taking I did sign up for the subscription so I'll get it I think every three months is the one I decided on I think that's I, I can't remember or once a month no I think I'm doing once a month once a month is what I decided to do and then if I like them and I keep taking them consistently like that then I'll switch over um so I still haven't had any like breakouts or any issues or any concerns like that I actually like the taste like I've already said and I'm trying to make sure I drink a lot of water now there is one thing that I have had to change and it's because of this comment that I got and I took a screenshot of it and saved it in my phone so I could read it. It said, great review. I see you are a coffee lover. Also, be careful taking your vitamin D close to drinking coffee. Coffee inhibits your body from absorbing the vitamin D. Shout out to Scorpio Noir 4952 because I did not even consider that. I didn't think about it. So I started doing some research too. And actually, it's not just the D3. It seems like it's like all vitamins that um, it needs the time to absorb into your body. So before I was waking up, doing my normal routine drinking coffee and then taking the vitamins out the door well out the door means I'm still drinking coffee on the way to work so <clears throat> I wasn't getting the full effect of the vitamins so I decided that when I first wake up I get up around 4 45 and like do a light 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 exercise um I haven't done full-on exercise just yet but a light exercise and so if you kind of watch my vlogs um and the consistency diaries I try to drink water for like the first hour of waking up and then around 5 30 5 45 while i'm doing my devotion and then getting dressed i drink coffee so what i've changed is i take the vitamin when i first get up so that i can have it with just the water and it has like an hour to you know be in my system and then um i can have my coffee and then at night it's fine because i don't really drink coffee at night and have a lot of caffeine at night i'm mostly doing water then um and if i do tea it's like late at night so I did the research and when I researched it said like give it like an hour. It's like an hour before or an hour after. So I landed on an hour before. So if you are a coffee drinker, just know that that might 
affect you a bit uh, so after six months of taking them y'all i'm telling you i really like these vitamins the probiotics i do feel less bloated like i think the more frequently i took them the more consistently um i felt a little less bloated my digestion's really good my immune system i talked about this in a vlog um my immune system when I had stopped taking the vitamins, like I ran out and I was waiting on the next shipment, which is why auto is probably better for me in my life. Um, I had got COVID, but I didn't get COVID as severe as a lot of people. Like I just had achy body and fever for a couple of days. Like really I had fever for like a day and a half and then achy body for like a couple of days. And then I was back to work. So I attribute a lot of that to taking vitamins um, because I haven't really been sick sick. Like the thing you hear now is like these doggone allergies and this like West Texas air. <clears throat> but that is it so yeah I really like the vitamins that I have been taking they haven't had any negative side effects I definitely have a lot of energy now thank god uh I haven't been taking the hair skin and nails as long as I've been taking the other ones so I will definitely keep y'all informed like via my vlogs like this is I'm not gonna do any more check-ins solo videos on these vitamins unless something happens that I feel like you all need to know like dire but yeah I'll keep you all updated in my vlogs about these uh, about the hair skin and nails how I feel like it's helping like I feel like my hair is overall getting healthier but I was also taking the curls um, liquid vitamins for the longest time and so I've only gone through one bottle of the hair skin and nails so I can't really say that it's like done wonders or anything but there's no adverse effects which that's the first thing I look for is make sure my body doesn't react negatively so yeah that's it that's all in this check-in if you have more questions if there's something I did not mention did not say something I left out comment down below let me know and I'll try to answer you in the comments so yeah bye guys